Welcome back to the Sims Decades Challenge. Um, right now we're with the Quinn family. We have a teen girl, an oh, older child, George, oh, okay. and two toddlers. Um, I wasn't sure with this episode if I should just kind of speed run it and just because we're pretty much just waiting until the kids age up so we can start a new decade and a new generation. But I thought that was kind of cheaty. So I'm just letting it go. <laughs> I mean, maybe by the end of this, you'll wish I had sped through it, but I sped through it as much as I could. I did, you know, speed up normal while playing the game some, but um, you got to actually take care of toddlers. They can't take care of themselves, so a lot of that's just, a lot of this is just taking care of the, the two toddlers, so, you know, and that can get kind of boring to, you know, but <laughs> at least I think so, because you're just trying to get their skills up and level them up so you can get them to children, so they can get to go do, just go to school and, you know help out at the farm then you know just kind of a <laughs> marking your time you know but um the two little kids are really cute um their names maggie and colette if i remember correctly <laughs> it's been a while <laughs> so anyway but i think we'll just stop with the four kids i don't think we're gonna try and get um the mom pregnant again uh at least i'm not gonna try to <laughs> Who knows? But, um, it's not like I have risky woohoo or anything for this game, but I don't know. I've had sometimes now that we have story progression and stuff, you leave and come back and your family's pregnant. <laughs> I've had that happen and it's kind of a pain in the butt when you think, oh, I'm all done with kids and you go and deal with another household and then you come back and you're like, oh, crap, <laughs> she's pregnant again. <gasps> ah! So hopefully we won't have that situation. I don't plan on leaving a household or anything in this save um possibly until we decide who the heir is and we move some of the other kids out i don't know if we'll have to go into another household just for a little bit to get them set up i don't like to them just fend for themselves i like to kind of get them started but we'll see because i'd like to have at least all the siblings you know start to have children too because it'd be really nice to have a, a big family but you can't really see that anyway in the Sims genealogy, so I don't know how much of a big deal that's going to be. With the new update coming out, the baby update, and the um, expansion pack coming, that would be really cool because they're supposed to show more family family relationships, so it'd be nice if I had that one <laughs> when I did this, but it would probably be way more complicated, so I don't know. Oh, goodness, that little one's kind of stinky. She's eating stinkies. But... I do like having the toddlers interact with their siblings, so we're going to have her older sister here help take care of her since, you know, there's only one mom, and she's a teenager now. She can at least do some of the work, which is great. <sighs> Let's see here. Thankfully, we haven't had any chickens die recently. They're all, I wouldn't say young, but they're not quite elderly yet, but, uh. Yeah, kind of tired of the visits from Grimm, so maybe we could take a break from him for a while. This little one's going to go play with the chickens, I think. Sometimes it's just enough trying to keep everybody entertained and make sure the older ones get their homework done. It's not too bad on the weekend. I mean, you've got plenty of time to do homework. But it's hard finding stuff for the oldest daughter to do. She's a teenager, and we don't have any electronics or anything. So finding stuff for her to do and get her fun up quickly. Because reading's kind of slow. Even playing chess is kind of slow. And those are like, the, and playing with the clay. She's got the clay ball to play with, but that's kind of boring. I never fixed my landscaping after I fixed made the house bigger, but... <laughs> I don't think, I don't know, I don't remember if I ever go back and fix that. It might be like that forever. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, I guess we gotta feed this one. Feed the little one. We don't want her to take it away. I'm not sure, I've never actually had a child, or a baby or a child be taken away. And I don't really want that to happen. Because I don't know how to get them back if you get them taken away. So... <laughs> I think you might be out of luck. I don't know. I guess I could Google that and find out, but how about we just not have them taken away and then it won't be a problem. But, yeah. <laughs> yep. 
At least she's able to go potty on her own. Um, and that's a nice thing about the independent trait for toddlers is they can potty on their own pretty much instantaneously, which is really nice. <laughs> Learning to potty or potty training takes forever. I still haven't decided who I want to be the heir. But it might be, I think I've pretty much decided that George, the son, is going to stay on the farm and live in this house with whoever he marries or, you know, um, has a relationship with. But I think we're going to follow one of the girls. I'm just not sure if it's going to be the oldest girl or the, one of the twins because if I leave with the older girl and start following her household when she moves out, then... I really won't be able to do anything with the twins and I'll just have to let them, you know, decide their own fate. And I kind of don't want to. <laughs> I kind of want to have them situated, you know, too. But I don't want to have to go back and forth between households, you know. So I think one of the twins may end up being the official heir for the um, challenge. And we'll just marry off Ellie uh, when she's able to move out of the house. So we'll have to start looking into getting... Um, finding men for her <laughs> that she can date because um, in the 1890s especially with the the challenge I'm following there's no gay relationships so she's got to marry a guy that's how it was in the 1890s unfortunately so we'll stick with that plan for now and I don't know if I'm gonna find a townie that's gonna work because they're all gonna be really non 1890s you know I mean in their clothing and stuff, and, and depending on what their aspirations and traits are, um, I probably have to go, out and go in and full cast edit mode and change everything anyway. So it might be better just to make up my own instead of completely changing somebody anyway. So, I don't know. We'll have to decide that. That's not going to happen this episode. She's not close to being an adult yet, a young adult. So I also have to build a house for her to move into. And I'm not sure if she's going to stay in Hanford on Bagley or if we'll move out into one of the other worlds. I don't know. I haven't decided that yet. But I have been looking at pictures of houses from the 1900s online. So I can get an idea of what I want to build. And I've seen a couple that I really like. So we'll do that. <laughs> I'll have to probably build some well George is staying here so I don't have to build him anything but for the other any of the other siblings of any generation I'm gonna have to find them places to live sometimes I can probably move them right in with others but it'd be nice to kind of have some nearby just for family purposes you know stopping by or going over to visit make it real easy but I don't know Maybe we can go to Newcrest and each lot have a different generation so you can see the progression of like um, how the houses change, like how the architecture changes. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. So you have a neighborhood of all different housing, house styles. I don't know. It's an idea. It's a thought. If anybody else has, who's watching this has done uh, the Decades Challenge or something like it before, um, Write in the comments, let me know what you guys have done with your generations. Um, have you built a new house each time? Moved, stayed on the same lot maybe? Or, I don't know, always gone with the oldest son? Or I think the challenge officially says that you should have the son be the heir for the first few decades because that was how things were done. But I want George to stay with the farm and I don't want to be on the farm for the 1900s. I want to explore something else <laughs> instead of just being farmers for multiple decades so that's why I want to move with one of the girls ooh crap forgot about the chicken coop again look at that that's so disgusting <laughs> oh well I'll put dad to work here cleaning up the chicken coop and you can't really clean the chickens directly I've always I keep trying to click on them to see if they could like scrub them or brush them or something but no I guess once you clean the coop a few seconds after you clean the coop the chickens get clean so yeah at least we're keeping up with our gardening. I haven't actually filled in all the plots. It's, you know, a little hard to keep up with all 
keep up with with all the children, but we're doing all right. And we're making decent money. I mean, look at them. 27,000 some. Doing pretty good. Cuz we're definitely going to have to add on to the house to um once the toddlers are children cuz there's not enough room in those uh, in that room for beds. And I don't think bunk beds were quite the thing in 1890s, at least not in the normal household. So we can't use bunk beds. And I really wish we could use night lights because I am tired of dealing with the monster in the bed. We pretty much have to deal with that every night. I just cut that out. You guys don't have to watch that. <laughs> constant nightmare and being scared of the monster under bed at least it's just George who's being bothered by the monster since uh, Ellie's a little older and doesn't you know get bothered by the uh, monster but she's a teenager and she's constantly having these ridiculous mood swings right now she's enraged you can tell by the red around her profile picture so annoying I'm worried that when she ages up, if she's having one of her mood swings, that might kill her. Because if she's really angry, she could die. Or if she's really mortified or embarrassed, she could die. No, I don't really want them dying like that. That seems kind of ridiculous. At least for, you know, the 1890s. I mean, that didn't happen. <laughs> Not that I know of. And also keeping up with the amount of food you need in the refrigerator. So it's a lot of food for this many people and we don't even have a full house we only have six we could technically have two more kids but we are not having two more kids this is enough I do like the interactions between the toddlers and the parents and the siblings that's so cute Now I am trying to get um, all the kills, kids' skills levels up as best as I can, but I am not going to stress over maxing out their skills levels. Because like I said before, there's only so many things they can play with in like technically the 1890s. Now I am having them do their projects from school. I'm not buying extra projects to work on their skills and to level them up because, you know, they didn't have... That, these kinds of projects in the 1890s. But if they're getting it from the school automatically, then I'm going to let them go ahead and do those so they can get their credit for the school. So we have good traits and stuff. So good job, George, for finishing your... I think that's the volcano one. I can't tell from here. Um, well, I know. When I say I can't see something, I really sometimes can't. I need to go for glasses. <laughs> but I've been putting it off, and I think I need to go. So I'll have to make that appointment sometime soon. But anyway, but yeah, I'm also having uh, Ellie learn how to do some knitting too. I figured that's a good skill to have in the 1890s. Make a sweater, make a cap. Also, if she gets good enough, we could sell some of her things and she can make a little bit of pocket money, which would be nice. Uh, I also started her, she did some cross stitching the last episode or so too. So she does have that skill started. Yeah. What are you doing up and playing at... Oh, I remember. He had a uh, monster in the bed incident, and he was too scared to go to sleep anyway. So I had George play with the toy for a while. So hopefully he can go to bed soon since it's four in the morning. Come on, buddy. And now his fun is really low. I haven't been having him do... He should be doing more on the chess table, and I haven't been. I haven't been really focusing on the older kids' aspirations specifically because... I don't really care about them. <laughs> I figure they'll I'll worry more about the adult aspirations and making sure that the uh, toddlers are at least leveled up to level three. Oh gosh, look at that stupid coop and the freaking cow shed. Oh man, I'm a bad farmer. I need to take care of my animals better. Ugh. I gotta put the kids to work helping. I think Ellie should be able to help a little bit. Maybe when George ages up, we could put him in charge of the animals because he's going to be inheriting the farm anyway. And it's always raining here, even though it's summer. I knew spring it rained a bit, but geez, it still rains a lot in the summer. I forget. I don't know what Henford on Bagley is um, 
created after is I don't know if it's supposed to be like England. Does it rain this much in the summer in England? I don't know. I've been to England in the summer, but I was only there for a little while, so I don't remember it raining this much. Like I said, I was only there briefly. I wasn't there like a lot. <laughs> so. Oh gosh. Ellie's all stinky. She's gotta get her shower. We'll have mommy help teach the children. And it's still raining. I think I have the dad out fishing. I've been making dad fish a lot. Because I want to get, for one thing, I want to get another cow plant berry. Because we need a cow plant for the uh, warriors. And um, also, he makes some decent money from getting things out of the uh, water. Besides fish, you can get all kinds of odd stuff caught on your hook, apparently. Sometimes it's hard to figure out what to cook. There's not like a ton of 1890s appropriate dinner foods to cook, so I just pretty much cook anything. So that's what you do. So you're trying to keep on top of these animal, animal buildings. Hmm. And none of them like to be out in the rain, of course. Feeding the toddlers. This one likes to tuck the toys in her pockets. Ooh, lightning hit the chest table again, it looks like. Of course it did. It doesn't look burnt, though. We might be alright. Lightning storms. Alright, little one, go potty. At least she can go potty on her own now. Don't always have to wake up mom. Mom has to go outside to pee. <laughs> Little ones are lucky. Oh crap, there's another lightning strike. I think it hit our mailbox. Ooh, there's an element out there. I'll have to see what that is. What is that? Oh, romantium. Well, we can sell that. <laughs> That'll be nice. Yeah, I know. I'd be scared having to walk out to the outhouse in the middle of a huge lightning storm, too. Thank goodness for indoor plumbing. That's what's exciting. I think the next generation we get, the next, uh, yeah, the next generation we can get um, indoor, some indoor plumbing. I don't think we're allowed to have showers yet, but I think um, we'll have a tub inside and a toilet inside. I think. I'll have to double check on that. I'm going to go astray a little bit from some of this challenge stuff because when I have questions as to whether or not something existed, like let's say indoor toilets in the 1900s, when I Google it and if it says, yeah, many houses had toilets in the inside, then they're going to have an inside toilet. So, we will do that. Because this outhouse business is a pain in the butt. At least it's done raining for once. Okay. Interacting with the middle one. Trying to get her skills up. Like I said, it's just kind of marking time until they age up. Because I'm not going to go and age them up early because that's not fair. Even though I really want to... I didn't age up the other two, so hmm. we'll have this one look at stuff. I'm trying to get their thinking skill up. That's a little takes forever to do. I hate when the phone rings because it's not 1890s, but that's you know part of having kids and the school calls you with stuff on this game. So I forget what pack that came with. Maybe Parenthood, I guess. That the school calls you. I don't remember. I'm really bad at remembering which packs do what with things like that because um, I don't have all the packs but I have a good number of the expansion packs at least and I don't know so I get them when they're on sale so I'll get like multiple at a time <laughs> so I don't always remember which comes with which specific pack I don't know I like having a cow but maybe we should if when this cow dies maybe we should get a llama That'd be neat. Did they have llamas in the 1890s? Maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't get a llama. I haven't played with a llama yet. 
I wonder how ornery they are. The cows are pretty ornery. At least this one is. Excuse the car noises. It's pretty noisy out here. Um, the room I'm in is in the front of the house, so it's right by the, the road. And there's a lot of people who like to rip up the road, so sorry for that. But as long as we don't hear any sirens, I think we'll be good. Um, but anyway, we're getting towards the end of this episode. And like I said before, I, I knew nothing much was going to happen. Just the timing and everything. Um, no one's quite ready to age up. And I didn't want to cut too much out and like jump to everybody aging up because that didn't seem right either. But hopefully next episode we can at least f start looking for a boyfriend for Ellie. And she might even age up to a young adult. And George will probably turn into a teen. So we might have a few birthdays next episode, which will be great. And we can start trying to figure out who the heir is going to be. Because I bet you the toddler should age up next episode too. Depends on how much I cut out, I guess. <laughs> so we'll figure out who the heir is going to be in the long run. Or at least the heir for the challenge. The heir for the house is George. And... Thanks for watching. I hope you guys like this. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.